Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I am going to be showing you one of my favorite things to do to work on what is probably one of the most common questions I get asked. And that is how do I address drag foot collapse um, or leaping, crow hopping, things that affect that drag foot. So what drag foot collapse looks like is instead of driving through with the toe and knee pointed forward, as you'll see the pitcher get on the side of their leg or on the side of their foot, excuse me, the back leg gets kind of locked out and then that back leg starts to act like an anchor. You lose your vertical stacking. You end up having to use a lot more upper body to deliver the pitch. A lot of the timing gets thrown off because that drive through foot can no longer get through as fast as the rest of your body is finishing. It can lead to hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain. So it's definitely something that we want to address if we can. Before I get into what I like to do to work on that, I just want to quickly go over with everyone what generally is the cause of leaping, crow hopping, and ultimately that drag foot collapse. And the answer in short is incorrect use of the hips, both when you're coming off the rubber and when you've landed in power K. So what we want to do when we're pitching is after we get into our load, we want to push off and extend those hips straight forward so that our bodies are going out first. So when you go from the load to the reach position, your bodies should still be pretty much square to the target. And this reach stage of the pitch is where things I really very often see start to break down and ultimately cause that drag foot collapse. When we land in power K, just moving forward a little bit, you know, a lot of pitchers have been taught to either stay all the way open as they deliver or close everything together at the same time. Neither of those methods are correct. What we want to see is upper and lower body separation. So when we land in power K, we want the shoulders to be open and the hips and the torso to be rotated forward. That motion of the hips leading is a huge part of what allows us to maintain that toe and knee forward position and be on our toe. So one of the biggest and most common and literally anytime I see a new student or do a new video analysis on Fast Pitch Power Plus, I see this issue. It is one of the like rapidly rising most common issues that is being taught to pitchers is opening the body too early off the rubber. And I would say that 99.9% .9 of the time, this is the leading cause of leaping, crow hopping, and drag foot collapse, okay? Now, a lot of times that opening too early can be a result of strength, strength issues, just not having that glute strength, the hip strength, the core strength to extend straight off the rubber. But a lot of times it's just habit and girls having been taught to literally open themselves as they come off the rubber. So what we'll see, again, instead of everything coming straight out, is we'll see girls start to open as they come off the rubber. And what's gonna happen as a result of that is it's pretty much impossible to maintain a toe and knee forward position. It's also pretty much impossible to keep your weight over that back foot because if you open too early and that foot starts to turn and you try to keep your weight back, even just doing that, it's gonna put a tremendous amount of pressure on your hip, on your lower back, it hurts. So what we see as a result is we'll see girls open and they will leap or they will replant. But even if they're able to open too soon and keep that foot on the ground, what we'll see is that foot is gonna to start to turn and get locked out so we're not in that toe and knee forward position. And then by the time they land in power K, they look like that, with that back foot flat on its side. And coupled with opening too early, what I always, always see is not engaging the hips correctly in power K. So they will stay all the way open when they land in power K. So instead of this, with the toe and knee forward and the hips driving forward, we will see opening too soon and then staying all the way open in power K. Hips all the way open, shoulders all the way open, back leg locked out, foot on the side. 
So it's important to understand what causes drag foot collapse and leaping and crow hopping. And essentially it is the improper use of the hips. Opening too early off, coming off the rubber instead of driving out first and not engaging the hips correctly in power pay. So now let's get into what I really like to do to work on this. And it's pretty simple. Again, if your issue is really strength related, you're gonna wanna get with a trainer, a physical therapist to address your specific weaknesses so that you're better able to get into those body positions. But what I really like to do is I have this stack of these little teeny tiny, just three inch cones. Okay, guys, it took me like forever to find cones this size. So I will link the ones that I use um, from our Amazon shop in the description below if you wanna buy some. But all you really need is like five or six of these lined up in a row and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And this is obviously gonna depend where you line them up is gonna depend if you're a righty or a lefty. So as a right-handed pitcher, okay, if your right foot starts on the power line, you want to line up five or six of those cones right in a row. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do six for myself because I'm pretty tall, okay? You wanna line up five or six of those cones in a row right on the inside of your foot. If you were a lefty, these cones would be on the other side of the power line, okay? So what this is going to do, all right, is it's going to encourage the pitcher to load and come straight out with that toe and knee forward. What also generally happens, there's a lot of things that can happen as a result of opening too early, okay? A lot of times when a pitcher starts to open too early, it actually starts in the load. So what you'll see is that front toe and knee turning in the load, so it'll look like this. And you can see as I do that, I've knocked those cones out of the way. So that's feedback right there for your pitcher who might be turning that foot too early and getting ready to start that process of opening too early instead of driving out. So what happens to this leg when we open too early, even if you don't turn it in the load, okay, is this foot, as you're getting ready to push off, will start to turn sideways and it will come off the power line too soon. When we go out, okay, when we land in power K, that foot should still be on the power line. And then once we do our drive through, it can come off, you know, and come in like a nice curved line through to the front foot. But what will happen when we open those hips too early is the foot will immediately pull off the power line. And I bet you can guess what's gonna happen to those cones if I do that. So again, if I'm doing this correctly, I can come straight out without hitting those cones. But if I'm opening my body too soon, even if I don't turn my foot in the load, there go those cones, okay? So that's that feedback for opening too early as you come off the rubber. You can also move these cones a little bit further up so that they're positioned in the spot where the drag foot would, would actually collapse because then you'll knock them away too. The only way you're not gonna knock those cones out of the way is if your toe and knee are driving straight forward, if your hips are extending off the rubber, and if you're engaging your hips correctly in power K. All right, so take a look again at what we want ideally to happen when we come off the rubber and deliver, okay? I'm gonna do my load, push, and deliver. You see, I didn't touch any of those cones. My hips extended, my body came out before opening up, and then I engaged my hips in power K. If you are using your hips correctly, extending off the rubber and then getting that good upper and lower body separation in power k chances are you're going to have a really nice toe and knee forward position and you're going to go ahead and correct that drag foot collapse i hope you guys have found this video useful i've got a lot more videos coming your way and i'll talk to you soon